Today I'm testing viral TikTok Minecraft hacks and tricks to see if they actually work or are just fake clickbait. Watch until the end to find out. Clear glow item frames? Excuse me, what? How did he make the item frame visible? It looks just like a glowing item. That's awesome. If this hack works, I'm literally going to have glowing items all over my house because that's awesome. So this uses the brand new glow item frame, which you can get by combining an item frame and a glow ink sack from a glow squid in the new 1.17 update. And hang this up on a wall. We can put an item in it. And now if I set the timer to night, you can see it glows. That's pretty awesome. But how exactly are we going to make that item frame invisible? My first idea here, guys, is to use an invisibility potion because they didn't exactly show us in the TikTok, guys. That did nothing. <laughs> Wait a minute, maybe if we go ahead and give ourselves a debug stick? That's a potential one to you guys. If I come to the item frame and I crouch and click with our debug stick... That's not working. Hmm. Maybe we need to... I have an idea! You can make items invisible using commands. Maybe if we do slash give space at P, and then we need to give ourselves that glow underscore item frame, and then we need to give it an invisibility tag. So to do that, we need to do a curly bracket, and then entity tag colon curly bracket invisible colon one curly bracket curly bracket okay that went yellow so maybe this will work okay we've given ourselves that and i think it worked i placed it down and now <laughs> oh my goodness i got it <laughs> check it out guys we've got ourselves a glowing diamond at nighttime that's pretty awesome using the invisible item frame and i can stick these out all around on the sides here look i can even put glow item frames inside my invisible glow item frames how weird is that but that's really cool that you can get glowing items around your house fortunately it does use commands but I mean, it's still pretty awesome. Automatic skulk sensor door. Wait, he just walked through it and it opened. No commands? The most annoying thing about TikToks is when they don't show you how to do it, but we're still gonna try anyways. Now, it mentioned it used the brand new skulk sensor block. Basically, the way this works is when you get near it, it outputs a redstone signal like that. So as you can see, that would be how the door opens. Now, apparently a crafting recipe is coming for this, but it hasn't been added to the game just yet. Apparently it's coming in a future update. So at the moment, the only way you can get skulk sensors is by opening up chat and typing in slash give space A with the squiggle around the A symbol. You see an emails P and then skulk. Uh, did I, I just spelled that wrong. Skulk underscore sensor. Just like that, you hit enter and boom, you can grab yourself one of those. Now, here's my suggestion, guys. This would have to be under the ground for you to detect when you get near it. And then they need redstone repeaters coming out of it. We need to have pistons. So I'm thinking redstone dust and we need this to come up. Oh wait, no, that's one too far. I think we have that, and then we need that to come up and activate some pistons. So if we put that there, that'll activate nicely, and then this needs to be one more up like that. Redstone torch, boom. We've got that action going. We'll put stone above each of those. And now if we just cover that up like so, is that going to work? Will that... I think this will work. Maybe. Okay, now we're going to place the pistons in front of that redstone, and that redstone, and that's activated. Okay, cool. And then we just need to put glass there. All right. That one, okay, one side is working and the other side is very much not working. Okay, the redstone's not coming up. That's our issue here. So if I get, if I fix that, that should do the trick. I think it's working, guys. So, uh, we have a problem. The door just keeps opening and closing randomly. I'm beginning to think that this doesn't actually work if they just used commands. It's like the redstone is short-circuiting. Wait a minute, I have an idea. If we change the delay of these repeaters to full delay, then the skulk sensor won't activate itself? I think this might work. Okay, so I'm not there, and it's closed. Wait. Nope, now it's now it's just doing it, and it's just taking longer. Ah! I watched the video like 20 times, guys, and I figured out the one difference is that they had wool above their skulk sensor, and for some reason, when the wool's there, it stopped going over and over and over again. I think the the wool absorbs the frequency of it. I, I really don't understand how this works. But once I put the wool there, it seems to work now, guys. And I walk up to it and it opens. I walk away from it. And any moment now, boom, it closes back. You don't need commands to do automatic doors in Minecraft anymore. That is awesome. I'm, I'm just so happy. A duplication glitch. We've got a sugar box with 64 diamond blocks. And wait, he threw it in and then suddenly it doubled? How exactly? So we've got a cauldron full of lava with a fence post above it. We can put in any items we want into the shulker box. We chuck it in the lava cauldron and it just doubles all of the items? Nope, 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 nope. I do not accept this as real, guys. This has to be fake clickbait. There is our cauldron. Put down our sugar box. Chuck in the box of diamond. Destroy that. Okay, here you go. You can see this has 64 blocks of diamond inside of it. Now, if we come up to the lava cauldron, chuck that in. 
It burns, and we only got 64 back. It's fake. It's absolutely fake, and it's time for us to expose these clickbaiters. So, uh, as I was re-watching the video to figure out how to make it work, I realized it might not actually be clickbait. I know, crazy, right, guys? But right at the end of the video, there's, like, this little text that says it works in version 20W51A, which is one of the oldest snapshots of the game. It was only there for a split second. Makes me feel like it's still clickbait, but it wouldn't be fair unless we tested it in that version. So I've just loaded up that version here, guys. So chuck down our shot box, chuck in our block of diamonds, in there we go, there you go, you can see block of diamonds 64, we throw that in and what? What? Guys, look, what? I have two stacks of 64 diamonds. It's not actually clickbait. It does work in this version. What a weird glitch to have in this one singular version of Minecraft. Well, I guess kudos to this person. I'm sorry for calling you a clickbaiter. You're not. Good job. Things you did not know about the 1.17 update. You can tame an axolotl with a bucket of tropical fish. Excuse me, wait. I can have a pet adorable axolotl in my world? Why has nobody told me about this? My heart will actually shatter into a million pieces if this doesn't work, guys, because I just want one of these cute little axolotls as my pet, guys. Let's go ahead. We've got a bucket of tropical fish. Feed him. Did that work? I mean, my tropical fish went away. Is he going to follow me now? I can't tell whether we taped him, guys. I saw the hearts. But I don't know if we actually tame it. Maybe it needs to be in the water for him to swim after me. Okay. Hey, axolotl, axolotl. I really can't tell. Are you are you my friend now? Do you love me? Is he gonna follow me? Wait, I think he is. Not? Maybe? Okay, no, he's swimming around us. Guys, I can't tell whether he's my friend or not. Do you love me? He's not swimming after us. I don't think he loves us. Maybe we need to feed them multiple? So let's grab ourselves a few more bucket of ax- Uh, not a bucket of axolotl. I need a bucket of tropical fish! That would be very, very, uh, very, very bad if I fed an axolotl an axolotl. That is, uh, that is cannibalism at its finest there, guys. Let's come in. We'll give ourselves some night vision so I can see what's going on. Okay, now that we can see, we can give it another go here, guys. Let's spawn down our axolotl. Boom, I'll switch into survival. Eat! Okay, we saw the hearts. They're just after one. But then he just swims away. I can't tell whether we've actually tamed. Okay, I'm just gonna swim away. I'm gonna swim away. And if those guys follow me, it means they love me. If they don't, they don't love me. I'm swimming away. Literally not a single one could care about me less. I've, I've supposedly tamed them. I saw the hearts. Wait, if I get attacked by a drown, will they come to my defense? Okay, hit me. Hit me, baby, one more time. Okay, I've been attacked. Axolotls, save me. Are you kidding me? Do I have to feed them multiple? What's going on, guys? They show the hearts as if we've tamed them, but then even though we've tamed them, they do not care. Oh, wait, maybe this one? Do you care? Oh, he does! Finally! An axolotl that loves me! Okay, I, I really don't understand these guys. Maybe it's just a glitch because they've just been added into the game, guys, but you can tame them with tropical fish. It's just sometimes they love you and sometimes they don't. As you can see, they will attack for you. The minute they attack, though, they do get a slight momentary stun, and then they're just like... Bleh. But either way, you can in fact tame cute little axolotls. They just may or may not love you. <laughs> All right, what's going on here? We're placing down a bunch of minecarts. One of them has a furnace in it. We put some coal in it. And then what? Wait, they can all move together as a single train? I you get trains in Minecraft? Now, I'm going to keep it real with all of y'all. When I was a kid, my favorite show was Thomas the Tank Engine. There's a little tidbit for all you EY stalkers out there. So the idea that we could get trains in Minecraft is awesome to me. Especially ones where you could have chests. Because that means you can carry tons of materials wherever you want. So we go ahead. We're going to place two minecarts with chests. Oh, apparently you can't place them right next to each other. Then we need a minecart, a normal one for us to sit, and then a minecart with a furnace. Then all we got to do is put some coal in here. Okay, that pushed them all into that direction. Now I just need to sit in here. And we'll go the other way. Did I do this wrong? I think I think our furnace needs to face the other direction here. Okay. Gosh dang it, this is tough. Alright, we'll put down our minecarts with chests. There's our normal minecart. Our furnace here. And we shove it all into this way. Okay, now we sit in here and put the coal in. Hey! Minecraft chain. Choo -choo 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 -choo. That was lame. I really should have built that railroad a lot longer. But you can, in fact, chain minecarts together using minecart with chests and a minecart with furnace to take items wherever you need to on your long railway journeys. I'm going to be doing that in my Minecraft world, for real. Did you know that? Well, no, I didn't. You haven't shown me yet. We've got a diamond block here, a redstone torch. Above that, we've got a stone block, some dirt, and a dispenser facing downwards. Oh, no, we're getting rid of the dirt here and doing what? Placing a resin torch up there and a button down there. So when you hit the button, it's going to activate the dispenser. Okay, we've got an item frame, instant health, two potion in the dispenser, and a netherite sword? Excuse me, what? What is that supposed to do? Wait, did the potion just go onto the sword? Now we've got a speed two potion, and we're doing what? Putting that on the sword? Excuse me, 
No, 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 no. That can't be real, can it? I mean, I've never tried building this machine before. And now he's got like health and super speed when he holds the sword? No way. That is awesome. I'm going to use this so much, guys, if this is real. I'm so excited. Okay, we got the stone block. We put this up. Our dispenser facing down. Get rid of that. Put in our redstone torch there. Button at the front. Item frame in there. Put in our netherite sword. Bang. And now in the dispenser, we put in our instant health. Oh, I got that wrong. That is instant health one. We need instant health two, guys. I got to make sure I'm doing this exactly the same way they do in the TikTok. Bang. Instant health two. Hit the button. And the texture did not change. Okay, well, there's no red line down the side of my netherite sword, but maybe it will appear if I use the speed potion. I also got a speed one potion. I need a speed two. All right, there we go. Chuck that in. Take two. Okay, the text is not changing, but maybe if I hold it, I can run around with it. Well, this sucks. I can't believe I got clickbaited, guys. Are you kidding me? Oh, I was so excited. Gosh dang it. I hate it when these guys get my hopes up like that. But we're going to make them pay. Let's expose them. So we've actually got two things at play. First off, two command blocks. Yeah, that's right. One for each of the different potions. But then, in order to change the texture, we can't just use commands. We're also going to need a texture pack. So let's go ahead and put on this potion swords pack. And basically, when they have effects on them, they're going to change texture. We're going to put these two repeating always active command blocks. We'll close this one. This is a ginormous command that you can basically figure out when I put the splash potion down of swiftness. It gives you a fast sword. And then this one here is another even ginormous command. This one is absolutely humongo bungo. It is most Moto Moto, it is the hippopotamus of commands, guys. And this basically means when it gets that healing potion, it uh, means when you hold it, it's going to give you extra heart containers like we saw in the video. So we have those two going, both always active. Now we put the sword in here. I'm going to need two more splash potions here, guys. First off, we'll need that speed potion. Let's grab ourselves that. And we're also going to need that regeneration potion as well. Wait, no, it was instant health. Oh, I almost stuffed it up there, guys. All right, there we go. All right, let's chuck in our instant health potion. Ba-bam! Check it out, guys. We've got that beautiful red outline going on. Now, our potion of swiftness. Boom! The second one. We've got ourselves the exact same texture in the video there. Now, we'll pull that out of the item frame. And when I hold it, boom! Look at my speed guy! Oh, my goodness. I'm so fast. I literally just ran off the side of that island right there. Do you see all my hearts right now, guys? Oh, my goodness. That was really fast. Okay, ready? I was just, I just got to stand here and ready. Switch it to survival. Look how fast I go. Boom! I literally just clicked the keyboard once and I go flying, guys! Okay, this sword is actually pretty fun. So, you know, if they didn't clickbait us and they actually just told us it used textures and command blocks, I'd want to do this because this is actually loads of fun. Look at how fast. I'm literally Sonic. Boom. Too fast, but nevertheless, it's still pretty cool. Crafting in Minecraft, you should know. Obsidian Gas tier gives us crying obsidian. I genuinely didn't know that. We can repair an anvil using iron? What? I need to try these guys. I genuinely didn't know this. Okay, soul soil and the sand is going to give us soul sand. That's pretty awesome. And then we can combine honeycomb and wood to give ourselves a beehive. What What was this craft here, guys? I, I don't even know what that is. Oh, a bell, of course. We can surround a bottle in lapis and it gives us a bottle of XP? How did I not know this? Am I a noob? You can make a spawner using iron bars and blaze powder? And then a village, and that gives you an NPC. What? No. And then you combine those and they give you an end pearl. I genuinely had no idea. I'm gonna be using these in my survival world all the time if they actually work. Okay, first one to you guys. Got ourselves. That didn't, what? Wait, can I try it with the anvil? Are you kidding? Seriously? Wait, can I use soul sand? Wait, I, no, don't. What? Do none of these actually work? My heart is broken, guys. My heart is empty. No! I got click faded! I genuinely thought that one was real. Alright. Let's expose these suckers because they got me so excited, guys. I'm not letting them get away with this. How'd they do it? They used a behavior pack here, guys. If we come down, they use this item template Bev A pack by DRP. They download it from the internet. If you activate this, you can see now we join into the world and it's gonna add in all of these crafting recipes that apparently we should know but are all just fake. Now we can open up our crafting table, obsidian, and our gas tier, boom, crying obsidian. We want to make a beehive. Yep, you can do that using that. Boom. As you can see, it's all just a mod. Very disappointing, guys. Now for our next TikTok, you're actually going to have to subscribe, watch the next video. That's all the time we've got for today. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, AI's your man. Bye.